Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my skin and I'm taking the Technic Primer Spray and then I'm taking the MAC Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold FX on a Sigma F80. Then for foundation, I'm going in with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 190 and I'm just blending this in using a damp sponge. Then to cream contour, I'm taking the Tarte Pro Glow Palette and I'm taking the cream contour shade on a Sigma F77. This is an amazing brush to apply your cream contour with. So I'm just applying it using that and then I'm going in with the damp sponge to blend everything out. And then I flip my sponge back over to where I applied the foundation and I'm just making sure that the contour and the foundation are nice and seamlessly blended. For concealer, I'm using the Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer and I'm in the shade Ivory so I'm applying this underneath the eyes and then down the center of the face as a bit of a highlight. I love this concealer. I just, it's so lightweight, but it's such good coverage. And I just, I really like it. And it's so cheap. So if you guys haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend. Then to set my concealer down, I'm just using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. This is one of my favorite face powders ever. So lightweight and finely milled, and it just sets everything so nicely. So. I'm using an F35 from Sigma just to set all of those areas. Then I'm taking the powder contour from the Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm using a Sigma F05 just to kind of set where I put my cream contour and use it to kind of bronze up and give my face shape and color. So just applying it to all of my usual areas that I want to recede. Then I just went back in with my sponge and made sure everything was super blended. I always do this, even with powders, I find it doesn't make a difference, so I always make sure I do that. Then for blush, I'm taking this NYX blush in the shade Summer. It's one of my favorites, it's such a beautiful coral. And then for highlight, I'm taking the Sun Dipped palette from Anastasia. And first I took the shade Tourmaline, but I wasn't tan enough for this shade, so you can see where it's just like, looks like dark stripes, so I took my Beauty Blender sponge, kind of blended it out and then I took the shade Moonstone instead and kind of went over the top and yeah, just highlighted all of the high points of my face. Then I just finished the face off with some MAC Fix Plus in Pink Light. Using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, so I'm starting out with the shade MFEO. And I'm using a Sigma E40 just to kind of messily buff this all through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm going into the shade called Pukey and I'm taking the same brush and just doing the same type of thing, just really blowing this color out and having it kind of, I don't know, a bit of that color everywhere. Then I'm taking the shade Roxanne, which is this beautiful brick ready brown. And I'm using a Sigma E25 to start packing that on the outer corner and then slowly blend it in the crease and underneath the lower lash line to make it nice and smoky. Then I'm going into the shade Chip and I'm using the same brush and just basically doing the same thing. I just started to build up the intensity slowly. Then I took my E40 that I used previously and I'm just blending those edges and I did decide to add a little bit more of the Roxanne shade so I picked up a bit more of that and I just started to blend that above where I applied all of the other shades just to make sure that ready tone was still in there. And then I'm taking the shade Abyss which is a matte black on a Sigma E44 and I'm just building this up in the outer corner, blending it underneath the lower lash line and a tiny bit through the crease. And then just going back in with my E25 with no product on it and I am blending all of those edges. Then I'm picking up the shade Hunts which is this beautiful bright orangey color and I'm just applying this kind of towards the top closest to the brow bone to add some nice orangey shades in. And then I'm taking an entirely clean E35 brush from Sigma and I am blending all of the edges. Then I'm taking the shade SBN on my finger and I'm just starting to press this into the lid and then smudge a bit in the inner portion of the lower lash line. 
Then for the star of the show, we're using this Models Prefer Foil Cream Eyeshadow Palette. This one's in Gold Rush, so I'm taking this bronzy shade and literally applying that all over the eyelid. Th these palettes are just insane. I'm so obsessed. Then I'm taking this lighter champagne colour on an E46 and you can see how pigmented they are. Like, I picked up too much product and we just looked a little bit crazy, but I'm applying that all in the inner corner. Then going in with a black liner from Sigma. This is my favourite eyeliner pencil. I'm just tight lining, applying a thin line on the upper lash line and then I'm going into the waterline with that as well. For mascara, I'm using the MAC Bold and Bad Lash Mascara, so I'm taking the big wand for my upper lashes and then I'm taking the little mini cute wand for my bottom lashes, which you guys know I love this mascara. Then for falsies, I'm taking my current favourites, which are the Glam by Manicare Coco Lashes in the Lux collection. These are just so amazing. And then finally for lips, we are applying the Makeup Store Lip Liner in Nude Beauty. And then I'm taking the Astralis Liquid Lipstick in Creme Brulee. And that completes the entire look. Really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!